Okay, so I was saying regard, uh, regarding this uh, car, this is the, the rear end of my, my go-kart here. Uh, some of the changes that I did is I um, shortened the axle. Uh, this was sticking out by, um, by about, two, uh, about two inches. And so I shortened this because I thought that my rear wheels were a little too, uh, too wide. And so now it's a little shorter. Uh, it's, still, it's still looking the part, but now my front wheels uh, are a little bit uh, uh, they're kind of in line with, uh, with with these wheels but I think those should be a little bit more inward so I, I can still move those inward if I make the modification that I mentioned in my first uh, part of this video right here with uh, tubes pressing them and inserting them all the way into those maker pipe connectors so that I'm using the same bolt that's provided with the maker pipe connectors and I don't have to uh, do a, a, a two bolt setup or drill the holes through the connectors which I, I really dislike doing that much preferred, you know, just to have the bar pressed and, and fit it the way I, I described. So I shortened this uh, axle here. This is also EMT tubing that's been uh, kind of customized, you know, so that it, it would fit inside this one inch uh, uh, ID uh, ball bearings. You know, I had to put shims there and it's got these clamps. Uh, and I'm using these bike uh, hubs here that come with the uh, disc brakes. And I was able to also install these uh, uh, sprockets. This is a one-to-one -one gear ratio here because these, as I'm driving on this one, it's a one-to-one, -one, it's just a direct drive, basically one-to-one -one or one-to-one -one gear ratio, which is what I try to achieve here because I could not fit this directly to the, to the wheel here as I wanted to. Um, I didn't want to risk the, uh, the interior windings by going with bolts inside this, uh, this cover here. So that's the way I did the, why I did this uh, the way it is, and I may be able to, if I think a little more, I may be able to get around that and, and, and make some kind of an adapter here where I can um, uh, put a hub and put a regular wheel and go to right drive and not have all this setup here that I have here, which is really adding a lot of weight and complexity. Um, it's something that I, I really dislike. I, I don't like complex uh, uh, complex uh, vehicles or aircraft. Uh, reason why, you know, if you look at my uh, if you look at my um, my coaxial electric helicopter that I did at quarter scale, that is very very simple weight shift it with minimal minimal uh, uh, mechanics. It's just to minimize a lot of complexity, a lot of weight, and you don't you don't really need it a lot of complexity if you do it properly. If you you know take the time to um, uh, in this case, I, I have to customize uh, these motors, you know, as, as I'm explaining here. So what I did do also is I relocated this section right here, uh, back one one bolt here. This this was sitting before right there, so I relocated four inches back, and this is giving me a much better um, stance, you know, from from the wheel to to from this wheel to the front wheel. Now I think I have 48 inches instead of 40. Before I had like 42, 43. That is typical on a uh, vintage go kart, you know, the, uh, the uh, just uh, not the racing go karts, but a, vi a vintage go kart. So this is a lot, uh, well, four inches back further, which is giving me more room for my, I can relocate my seat even, you know, to maybe two inches, and that'll give me a little more leg room. Uh, so my legs are not ball, too, too, too ball legged, you know, when I sit here and I put my feet on top of that bar. If I put my front bumper, you know, with my foot rests on the, on, uh, ahead of, of, of that bar right there, then this, this seat location is just fine. But if I can relocate two inches back, I think that, that'll, that'll work just fine. Which means that I have to cut these support bars two inches back, you know, to give me that uh, option to relocate the seat. So uh, that's one of the uh, changes I, um, I made to this. And well, two changes. I, I shortened the, the, the axle by two inches inward from, from each side. Um, you can see the wheels are a lot closer here, and I relocated this back, you know, uh, four inches from that from that bolt. So that's that's pretty cool. When I did this, I um, I had to uh, I had to relocate the, the first mount of this uh, this setup right here. It runs on a on a plate on a on a, on a half inch uh, uh, plastic uh, sheet that that I had is mounted with the original um, part. Part of the original original framework that supports these motors, and I don't want to make these any shorter. I could have just remained that that the, the square block that mounts that, but I don't. Uh, you get much better support by distributing the weight like like I did here. On that one, I did cut pretty much all the, all the aluminum and just retain the, the the block section that supports the wheel. But that I had to reinforce with steel 
a steel plate underneath. I could do the same here uh, or manufacture something that's uh, welded, you know, that, that supports that. And so I decided to keep the same, you know, I did this uh, rather last night, late, late, uh, late hours. And so now this part that used to be supported on this part right here, kind of uh, uh, horizontally, you know, with uh, with, a, with with another uh, maker pipe connector on the bar. You know, I lost that connection because I moved this back, and this doesn't go too far back. You know, this um, this pipe right here, this part of the frame, you know, it, it, it ends right there in line with this uh, this wheel right here. So I decided to um, uh, just leave it like that, and actually that gave me a little more uh, control so that I could tension my my chain. If I push this downward, you know, it'll tension my, my chain here. That one came loose, it kept coming loose, you know, as I was driving. This is because my tension right now is just done with these um, uh, uh, straps here, elastic straps. You can see how I did that, even though I, I, I made it super, super tight, you know, it's it's loosened. So I need to put some kind of a spring here uh, or, or a shock that's... Um, uh, that goes from 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 this support right here to to that pipe right there, so that it it puts pressure that way, so it creates tension uh, backward, uh, so that, that uh, I can get a more positive uh, and, and not a, a loose uh, chain right here. So that's if I decide to uh, retain with this uh, same uh, assembly and setup here. But like I was saying, I'm gonna try to figure out a way not, not uh, to remove the, all this all this complexity here. I don't I don't want this right here anymore. I don't want these uh, these hubs, you know. They, uh, you know, it's kind of put together in, in a creative way, yeah. But it's uh, it's it's providing a lot of um, unnecessary weight and unnecessary complexity here uh, that um, I'm trying to do away with. If I can just you know put my wheels like I did on that one right there, just the right the right drive, just mounted on the on the on the axles uh, support itself, great. So I'm gonna to try to figure out a way. Once again, I'm gonna re revisit that because um, there are some people that have done modifications to these to to fit larger wheels. But this is a hefty wheel right here, so I may be um, I may be I may not be able to use the, this wheel itself because this is creating also a lot, there, there's a lot of mass on this wheel. And the, the way why this works so beautifully is because there's there's really very low mass on, on the wheel. Uh, yeah, you have the tire, but there's low mass that this, this that the motor has to contend with because the wheel is the, is the motor inside, or, or the uh, yeah, the wheel is the motor inside this this uh, assembly here. So this um, this I think it's it's a little too um, too massive, you know, for for something like this. So I may be able to go, uh, maybe able to um, I might have to go with uh, just a 10 inch wheel because these are. These are 13 by 5. They're also wider, and why I got them is because they, they look they look really stocky and they look really great. I, I love these wheels, but unfortunately I can't use it, you know, in, in this setup here because it's creating a lot of there's a lot of mass here. Or maybe once I remove all this mechanics and find a way to directly drive this from here to here, you know, that might be my solution there to uh, removing some of the, the mass. Thus, is it's also drawing a lot a lot more power. And this one right here, I can go uh, some some pretty good uh, good amount of time uh, uh, distance with this guy here, and then still has uh, juice. You know, after we're done with the, uh, running this, you know, the same same thing using two Ryobi 18 volt batteries. But there's a, there's a lot more mass here. The thing with this, with the two 18 volt, uh, two 18 volt, uh, 36 uh, volt, 42 uh, fully charged, is that when uh, when you hit the throttle and this on the straight and this gets going. You better have some good brakes here because you, there, there's a lot of mass with the rider also on top of that. There's a lot of mass here that, that is pushing this. And once this gets going, there's a lot of mass that you have to contend with. And you're going to have to stop. I tried stopping this with my with my feet uh, and, uh, you know, just my heels as I do with this one sometimes before I had the brake on. There's a brake. Um, and uh, I, it was a little it was a little dangerous, you know, doing that because my, my foot got kind of kind of stuck on the that on that bar right there you know kind of pull kick back and and, I, and i'm like oh, oh that's not the way to to do this not not with this one here because this is very serious this is a serious uh, uh framework here and in, in, uh you have a lot more mass with these wheels you know so there's a lot more weight here than than this right here which is a uh, very very um uh very efficient and and, and clean and, and and lightweight you know this is this this is more in my style of um 
if I were to do a product, something like this, I would do it like this because you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm truly truly into ultralight stuff and efficiency is is the the key in in, in getting efficiency. You know, ultralights is, is you know as far as aircraft, that's why I like a, a, a ultralight aircraft is because they're they're very efficient. Uh, of course, you don't want to be flying that in a in a heavy wind. You know, you need a calm day, but you know for something uh, something for self uh, uh, self fun and entertainment. Uh, you know. For me, this 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 works just 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 great. Uh, I did this because I wanted to mimic, see if I can uh, get away with uh, these maker pipe connectors and EMT2 and see how it would come out. So this is giving me a good idea of what can be done with uh, EMT uh, connectors, EMT and uh, the connectors. So um, so yeah, so this is where this project is at. I think uh, with some of these uh, changes that I that I did and some of these additional things that I'm considering doing. I think this would be a nice, uh, nice little go kart um, uh, that, that that looks the part. Uh, it's customized, you know, because I, this is all, you know, even the wheel is, is done with the empty tubing. Um, very little uh, bought parts. My spindles are my own spindles using Maker pipe connectors, EMT two, and I haven't changed that. I don't want to change that because that is the gist of this particular design here. There, there is another car that another gentleman did with the empty tubing, kind of similar uh, process. Um, uh, which I stumbled upon after I, I had considered doing this. I, I mean, anybody that has built, uh, you know, if you're a techie or an engineering type, you you probably could have considered at some point in your life making things, you know, uh, almost like uh, the uh, the way erector sets were, were used to be. That's that's how I grew up. I grew up with erector sets and, and, and to me connectors and, and, and just raw materials that you can connect, make things easy is, is common sense and, and logic. So that's where my, my, uh, my inspiration came for this, besides the fact that this is... Uh, inspired by a real race car but i found out that there's another gentleman that was probably thinking along the same same lines you know as, as i would imagine any anybody any any uh any typical engineer or or, uh, or technical person would uh wanting to do something like this would consider you know if, if you want to save on costs if you want to get creative and you don't want to buy that you know the, the actual thing so that's where uh, this comes from but you know it is uh, it is unique in in the way and that's why i've been explaining in my videos you know how i did this because i, I wanted to showcase all these things that i did that uh, that make it truly truly unique anyway this is mario once again with my uh, micro flight stay tuned for the continuation of uh, this video i'm still working on this guy here and i will continue to work until i get it just the way i i, I think it should be thanks for watching